other fellow virgin burthens. We are to do a video now from Love and, from Love and Lightland. What's up, Love and Lightland? That's a good positive YouTube channel name. I like it. Happy birthday, Kyle. Huh, thanks. Yeah, now I'm 40. V uh, now I'm in my 40s. <laughs> video request. Is there a time period in ancient history you enjoy studying the most and is there an era in recent history you admire the most if you were to decorate your place to a specific time period what would it be and thank you <laughs> wow that's a pretty cool uh, video request actually um okay <laughs> okay um is there a time period in ancient history you enjoy studying the most yeah, I have gravitated to Rome, ancient Rome. The reason that I gravitate to studying ancient Rome is because there is so much information on it. Uh, that was when Rome was really rich and uh, they set up a uh, world economy and uh, Europe was doing well. And they recorded a lot and a lot of it was uh, survived to the present day. And so there's so many stories of uh, court intrigue and uh, battles and wars and rebellions and revolts and new laws and autobiographies and biographies and everything from that time period that if you wanted to study a time period and be really, that was a long ass time ago, that's another thing that is really, uh, that is really intriguing. A super, super, super long time ago, with a whole lot of detail, it's Rome. And, um, and it's stuff that you can... And it's also the uh, civilization that is the father to our current civilization. Most, it was the father of the world. And so most of our culture now and our, and our whole ideas about everything stems from Rome. It's the father of us, of us all. So, you know, and every and specific things about our current culture can be traced exactly to Rome. For example, you know the the disbelief in reincarnation. The ancient Romans never really believed in reincarnation. It was the Greeks, but Rome's took Rome took over the world, and so we got their watered down religious ideas about stuff. Um, and even Jove, you know, by Jove, Jove and the Zeus and all this kind of stuff, that was, that's from there. And, um, and they lived and, and the characters, oh my God, talk about extremes, like extreme wealth and extreme corruption from absolute power with, with Caligula, you know, and Nero, like, and then this, this heroics and it, of people and amazing growth in society. And, you know, Jesus, he was from the time of Rome. Um, so yeah, I would say Rome. Um, is there an era? <laughs> is there an era in recent history you admire the most? Um, yeah, the sixties, dude, the late sixties, that was a really great explosion and, um, culture and uh, the um, the uh, complexity and growth in our culture when all of the young people of America suddenly decided that they were going to be interested in uh, not just Judeo-Christian culture but Eastern cultures and uh, think for themselves and um, um, rebel against their uh, their elders you know re re revolting against the uh, the Vietnam War uh, you know, fighting for, um, you know, not wanting to go out to some war, you know, that, that's never really happened in the past. People always, it was always easy to send soldiers off to war. Uh, and then people dressing all funny, putting the flowers in their hair <laughs> and the new music before the sixties music was crappy and black and white and bland and after that, you know, it's all contemporary. You know, you still hear it on the radio. You don't hear 50s music on the radio ever. You know, I've, I can't think of a single time I've ever heard Elvis on the radio, but you got 
you got Peter Paul and Mary and Simon and Garfunkel and Bob Dylan and Bob Marley and the Beatles all over the radio still. And so it's kind of music you can still relate to now. Um, and uh, so it was, it was like a sudden modernization of our society. Long hair and just people being themselves and not being a little cookie cutter. So, uh, and then the drugs, sex, rock and roll, all of it, dude. All of a sudden, just whoosh, whoosh, slamming you in the ass. Must have been a huge change, you know, all of a sudden from 65 to 75, Lord and Savior. Or from 65 to 70, you know, from 67 to 69, you know, like, whoosh, whoosh. yeah, dude, I admire that and I admire them. Uh, but, and they're great parents for us to have, but, uh, they're not hippie 2.0. They're not as smart as us. And we're not as smart as, uh, you know, little kids today are going to be when they grow up or healthy either. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you were to decorate your place to a specific time period, what would it be? Um, well, interesting. I, you know, I would go... Huh, I would like to say the future. You know, where you got the clap-on lights and the nice illuminated... Illuminatedness fucking everywhere and the flat-screen TV and all that kind of stuff. But... <laughs> I'm not a gazillionaire, so I can't decorate my my apartment to the future. <laughs> so if I had a choice to, like, stylistically, just to be funky and fancy, I would do it caveman style, like um, prehistoric, you know. So I would try to make it au naturel as possible. You know, I've got the plant up there, the plant yonder. I've got, um, I've got the tapestry up there. It's kind of like, you know, putting a blanket on the wall or something. It's just simple and uh uh caveman y, you know, like like uh see it's kinda hard to, to, to decorate a house pinpointed to a culture to a time period because we don't really um I was gonna say we don't really know what it was like, but you can imagine what it was like. It was just you know in the, ba in the basic time periods, the house basically looked the same, you know. In the Celtic times, um, you lived on a dirt floor. Your animals lived in your house with you. Um, in the Middle Ages, your animals had another house beside you. Um, and you didn't really have a dirt floor anymore. You had a straw floor. But I guess you had a straw floor back then, too. But, um, but, you, but you know, the houses were closer together. Uh, your houses weren't like thatched and round. They were more square and built with just more evenly like two by fours and stuff. But that doesn't really have say anything about decoration. As far as decoration, I don't think people really thought that way back in those days. So you can't really decorate a house like to the Middle Ages, you know, unless you want to like, you know, tear out your floor and walk around in the dirt. Um... I guess your only choices would be like, you know, what, what, what culture would be better? You know, like Indian, classic Indian or Middle Eastern or Japanese, uh, you know, European. Um, as far as time periods go, I guess you could go Roman, and in which case you would have uh, paintings on the wall of like, you know, Sea, sea, sea creatures and unicorns and stuff with like columns everywhere and statues. Uh, no, that's not really my style. My style would be more just utilitarian, just lots of plants. Um, so you, uh, yeah, you couldn't really attach it to a, to a time period. I'd have to go um, hippie, like, like caveman style, just to try to make it look as natural as possible. But Anyways, that was an interesting video request. Peace outie.